Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Great Torn, and welcome back to Victoria 3 as we are playing as Japan. So, hopefully, in today's episode, we'll be declaring war on somebody if we can get the relations down low enough because the British, unfortunately, are currently improving relations. And so, we're essentially just offsetting each other. We're decreasing our relations by 3% while they're increasing them by 3%. So, we're not making any progress here. But there are a few other options. The first would be the Spanish Philippines. Our relations with Spain are low enough, so that's not really an issue. So we just look at them, it's sitting at neutral, so no problem there. However, we have pretty good relations with the Philippines, so we do not have access to any uh, diplomatic place here. So unfortunately, we'll have to work on them for probably a little while here, and let's just hope they don't attempt to improve relations. And then there's the Russians. Now with the Russians, we can declare war on them now. Uh, we don't have any interest in their area, so we'd have to, to enact an interest if we wanted to take territory. But we could just do it to force recognition. But I would prefer to get some actual territory from a conflict rather than just do the war to force recognition. And I don't want any of the, the Russian territory here, guys. I mean, it, it would be helpful, some of it. It's got some resources that we could make use of. It just would look kind of strange taking over all this. Same thing with Alaska. I don't really want to come over here to North America. Uh, what I'd like to do is, if we were to take any territory, it'd be like the territory near us. You know, China, Korea. Uh, or to connect our territory that we have down here. So the Philippines. Uh, or to take over Papua from the British. So we have several things I'd like to do here in the beginning of the episode before we start letting the game play. But before we do that, I did want to address uh, a few comments. We're attempting to get this done here and you can see we're nowhere close to doing it because of me making the mistake of uh, making these islands into incorporated states and so now we have to get the urban centers up to five uh, not all of them but we'd have to do quite a few and it's just very unlikely uh, we probably won't be able to to complete this in this series or at least not anytime soon unless we were to conquer a bunch of territory that would make them a smaller percentage of our total states so let's say we were to conquer you know, parts of China or whatever, where there's there's a lot of people, a lot of uh, potential buildings. Uh, they probably already have high levels of urban centers in some of these. So yeah, like right here, if you wanted to go down the coastline, yeah, you could take some of this and then you would already uh, have locations that have urban centers of level five. If you incorporated those, uh, then that would obviously take a long time, but uh, that would help reduce the the percentage that these make up of our states. So that's one option. Another option would be to try and get rid of these. And really there's not anything we can do unless we were to release this territory as a vassal. And so that's what people were commenting about, that we should release them. However, that's not actually an option, guys. There's no one to release here. Several people thought that there was somebody that we could release for these islands, but there's not. Uh, there's no options here. This would just be these two states. Izo is also just Hokkaido just this uh, part of our country here. And so there's not really any options, guys. Uh, there's nobody we can release. So unfortunately we are stuck with those and uh, man, there's nothing we can do. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. The uh, first thing that we're gonna do here is we need to set up our interest. We now have five more we can get. And we're gonna go ahead and do just all along the coastline here. And for the last interest, we could do Northern India. I think we're actually gonna do the Pacific Coast. All right, excellent. So we got that taken care of. The next thing we need to do is get an admiral. If we wanted to complete these, we would need an admiral. And I'd like to do the ironclads one as well, so we could just easily switch over to that in order to get this. Uh, so I guess we'll do the ironclads one first, which means we do have to change the naval bases over just for a minute. I know that's gonna have its effects. In fact, that's probably gonna change our interest groups up. So, or excuse me, our interest up. And so we're gonna have to redo that, but that's okay. So we need to get an admiral. And this is going to be in the Japan HQ. And we'll just get the, the best character. I don't really care what interest group they're in, unless they're intelligentsia, in which case we would want to uh, avoid getting them. So he has the 10% offense and defense, higher command limit, is a convoy raider. So we might get him. Yeah, I think we're going to end up getting him. I mean, he's pretty good too. He's with the landowners. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this character. And so that'll allow us to complete the Ironclads one. Get that event, and then we'll just switch over to get the get the other one. And so this will get us a nice uh, bonus, either to Navy Power Projection or to our defense. 
We can also do offense, but then that has the penalty of the defense. You know what? Let's go ahead and go with the, the Navy defense. Just to make our, our fleet better. And then we're going to go ahead and switch over back to the monitors in order to complete this one. Now with this event, there's a bonus that isn't for the, the military. 10% trade center building throughputs, or we can do the military ones. And I think we're gonna actually do this one. The 10% trade center building throughput. All right, excellent. So we've got that all switched up. I don't think there's anything else that we really wanna work on. This one here, you know, we, you gotta obviously get those oil rigs so that their occupancy is at 75%. Let me make sure the interest didn't get messed up. It probably did. Yeah, they did. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, we just lost the one. And the Intelligentsia are actually loyal to us. I think overall, most people's opinions are pretty good. Everybody bit the trade unions. They're not happy. Peasants could be a little bit happier. But yeah, everybody's pretty loyal at this point. So doing pretty good on that, that regard. My allergies are not bothering me as bad today as they were for the last two episodes. I don't know what happens. It's kind of just on and off again. Uh, it's not from like pollen count because there is no pollen count right now. I always keep my eye on that. And the United States of America is now improving relations. So yeah, we don't want any uh, problems with the U.S. Let's see us attacking them. Uh, our concerns are going to be over here. And so we're getting the relations down for Spanish, the Spanish Philippines. We could always do a war with Korea and then be burning off infamy while we do this, because this is going to take a long time. I almost feel like we should. I know we're still building up the fleet as well, so that's something to consider too. We only have the 43 ships. We have all this money. Yeah, I feel like we should start a play over here, though uh, we don't have any plays available because of our high relations, so we still have to... Damage relations with them too. All right, so we'll work on that as well. We got plenty of influence and we don't have any infamy yet to, to burn off. So we have to work on all these locations right now, unfortunately. We'll be fur further finding oil and, and rubber in our states. The oil we need right now, the uh, rubber's not helpful because we're not uh, using any of the production methods that need it, but we will be soon. Didn't we just do this? Oh, we got another one. Oh, probably because we're, we're building the fleet up still. So we're going to constantly see new new interest popping up here. All right, well, we could say we have interest in Mexico. But I think we're going to do northern India. Not that we actually have interest in any of these places. This is going to be more uh, useless notifications that we don't care about. Uh, clear up the screen. We could go ahead and close that now because, uh, you know, it's not really that big of an issue anymore. And it looks like this is now being offset because the Koreans are, well, they're worried about us attacking them, of course. And so therefore they are, yeah, increasing relations as well. So two of these are not having any effect, unfortunately. We keep them going though. Eventually they'll cancel, or they typically do. Uh, so with that, we now have the access to the rubber plantations. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and see what we want to get next. So we still got some level three techs in production that we could get. Uh, this one we'll have soon. We don't really need the synthetic plants at all because we have access to our own dyes. So we should probably start getting something for rubber. So that tech, uh, telephones, there's a lot of options. These are level fours though, so they're gonna take us 30 months. Not too bad, but it'd be much quicker to just get this one at 13 months. Or we could move over to the society techs I don't know if there's any level threes that we actually want right now, though. Yeah, there's not much here, guys. That's going to help us. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to do any of those. Let's go ahead and do this tech here. It's going to give us uh, three new production methods. The two of those are in the, uh, the barracks in the conscription center. The bicycle messengers. And all those will require rubber. So before we'll be able to make use of them, we will have to get rubber. We already have stuff building. I'll probably just get the tech first and then build the, the rubber and then we'll get the, uh, well then we'll actually change those production methods over. So we do need convoys here. So we're gonna build some more ports. A lot of these notifications are already taken care of, like with these government administration buildings. So yeah, let's go and get some more ports going. And I guess we'd wanna get them where we're having some market access issues. 
Yeah, that makes sense. So let's move them all through here. And then we don't have to build the rails any higher, at least for a little while. Maybe get this one up another level. Yeah, just get some more ports. And that'll get us the, uh, the convoys that we need, as well as some additional infrastructure. So yeah, I think it's gonna be the Spanish Philippines, guys. That's what it looks like, since everybody else is currently increasing relations. And we're just gonna decline all these. I think those would be more negative than helpful, more likely to just pull us into conflicts that we're not really interested in, in getting involved in. And unfortunately, the Spanish Philippines has now also improved relations. So the other option here, guys, I always think we'd just do that. Uh, but yeah, the other option would be to instead expel di uh, diplomats that will deteriorate the relations by 30 and it'll stop them from from uh, improving relations with us. So you wanna do that with the country that you wanna fight the most, which in our case would be the British. So yeah, we'll, we'll do it to them. Uh, let's go ahead and expel the diplomats. This does uh, cause infamy, uh, 10 infamy. So that's something to consider. But yeah, we're gonna have to do it. It's gonna be the only way to get this done, unfortunately. So now we can do a diplomatic play against the British. And we're probably gonna to wanna to take the, uh, as our key state here, just in case they do give in, we're probably gonna to wanna to take this one here, British Eastern New Guinea. So that we'll get that one that neighbors us. I mean, this one, you got a little bit more territory, but I think it makes the most sense to, to take that one there. And so that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll, we'll try and take the other ones, but this is, this is just in case they, they end up giving in to us. Uh, they probably won't. Uh, but you see, there's gonna be a lot of countries involved quite a few uh, but Britain's very weak right now and so this is really the best time for us to possibly do this uh, let's go and add the war goals now so we want to force recognition that's gonna be key and then we'll just try and take what we can based on our maneuvers all this is gonna result in uh, more infamy of course so we have to hope that other countries don't join against us they probably will though uh, a lot of people hate the British too though so maybe not you know, as far as the in the European theater, maybe they are uh, looking at the British as enemies and that this is a good thing that they're going to lose territory. So we want to take that one there. We could also go after this island here. And while I'm tempted to do that, I'd also like to get the war reparations too. Get the 10% of their income and just hurt the British as well since, you know, if we wanted to take over all the territory here, then that would require future conflicts. And so it's nice to weaken them. It's nice to get more money as well. And uh, the British likely make a ton of money. And so that 10% would uh, be a lot. So yeah, I think it would be better than taking the island. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the British war reparations. Now that does leave a little bit of maneuvers left. I don't know if there's gonna be anything that we can we can do with that. Cause there's nothing really to conquer. I mean, I guess you could take Idaho <laughs> if you wanted to. Yeah, we don't want to take any of this other territory. And, and basically, this is also going to result in more infamy. So I think this is good enough. Just want to see if anybody's willing to be swayed. That is a no. Not as of right now. All right, so we're not going to raise up our army just yet. And the British are no longer attempting to improve relations. We don't need to do this anymore. Uh, since we have this conflict going, so let's go ahead and stop damaging relations with them so that we can start burning off the infamy a little bit faster. We will keep these two going though. Let me see if there's anything else down here we need to be aware of. Uh, just the British adding their Wargle, which they want to take our territory. They want a treaty port, actually. They want a treaty port. The AI loves the treaty ports. So they typically do those in a conflict. Surprised they didn't want our territory over here. All right, so we'll get this a little bit higher and then we'll raise up our own troops. I'm not too worried about the British, honestly. I know that they have all this assistance. So that's something to consider. All these other countries like Canada, British Raj, are all gonna be involved as well. But so far, we're not seeing any other major countries here. And Austria-Hungary wants a trade agreement. Hmm. We are trading with them a lot. So this could be beneficial. And there's a lot to consider when it comes to doing the trade agreements. Because it's basically helping your pops while hurting your own revenue. 
but your pops are going to do better. I think we're going to decline it in this particular case because we're about to go to war. And so we need as much money as we can get. Uh, but let's go ahead and raise up our, our troops. Uh, so I'm going to try and avoid activating any conscripts. I don't think it'll be necessary. Hopefully not. So we can either get new generals or promote our current ones. I think we're definitely going to promote him. I think that makes sense. And he's 62, so we'll see how long he lives. But yeah, we're going to promote him. He has the, the best traits, I think. So we'll promote him up to level 2 so that he'll have access to more troops. I don't know if we want to do level 3, though. Probably better to just get another another general. Yeah, we're going to get another general, guys. We'll see uh, who all we have available. We might actually have some, some decent characters here. So tactful, stalwart defender. He's wounded. He's decent. This guy's pretty average here, but nothing nothing bad. No penalties. He's with the landowners. He's with the the Buddhist monks. Probably end up getting both of them, honestly. Unless this guy's uh, better. Now nah, we're just gonna get him. All right, so that leaves us with uh, five generals currently. Yeah, we currently have five generals and. We're able to command 125 of our 150 troops. So might go ahead and just promote another another guy. Yeah, I think we're gonna promote another guy rather than getting a, a different general here. I think we have a good number of generals at the moment. I almost want to promote this guy here. Just again, he doesn't have any like uh, penalties. Yeah, I think we're gonna promote him. And he's with the Buddhist monks. So let's go ahead and promote him up to level 2. And then I think that's good. That's good enough. Uh, 145 of our 150 battalions. Uh, we do actually have to raise up those troops though, don't we? So far they haven't mobilized any of their troops. So I don't want to mobilize too much. I think we're just going to do the two large armies for right now. And that'll be plenty, I think. So we'll mobilize them. And then we also need to get another admiral here. The one's just not going to be enough to command all of our, our ships. We might actually have to promote one of them. We'll just promote whichever one is is the best. So this guy's an expert naval commander. He's meticulous, direct. He's, he's pretty good. So that's who we're going to go with. And then let's go ahead and promote, I think, him. Since he's the expert naval commander here. So let's go ahead and promote him. He's with the armed forces. And I think we're going to actually give him another level here. All right, so I'm not sure how many ships we have. 57 currently. This so could always get another admiral. But yeah, they are now raising up their troops. And we just want to make sure we have more than they do in total. Not too worried about the fleet. Let me see here. We're sitting at 57. Yeah, we're good for right now. We might have to get another admiral or promote that other admiral there. Uh, so this is just going to be another, we'll just do the ignore it. See, I'm not paying attention here. Two things that we need to do. First of all, we need to move our general over to this front. And yeah, that would be wise. Go ahead and move somebody over here. Uh, so we're going to move our, our best general over there. I don't think we're going to move the other guy. I don't know if it'll be necessary. We'll see how many troops uh, they have in the region once the war starts. So it's going to be 42. So maybe uh, raise up a smaller army. Have him like do the defense, even though he's better offense, obviously. Uh, but yeah, maybe raise up just uh, 20 or 25 or something. I think sending 80 over there would be overkill. And plus you got to have somebody raised up anyways for defense. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do maybe one of these two with the 20. As far as which one... Maybe this guy. Now this guy's pretty good too. And then he also has the supply requisitions expert. So that's nice. He's wounded. Yeah, overall he's probably the better guy. So we're going to mobilize him and then have him come over here and advance this front for us. Now we could also do a naval invasion of this territory as well. Yeah, I could do that too. But you need to have another army to do that and we're still doing great on money though that's actually because we're not building anything though because we get so much from the investment pool I think we'd still be in the positive there 
as long as we're not building uh, government buildings. So this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get this 20 raised up as well, and we'll have him do the invasion there. So you're not paying attention here, guys. We uh, got a bunch of stuff we got to get get constructing. Uh, so luxury furniture, we're probably going to have to trade for that. They're just a huge discrepancy. Uh, we could build a little bit. This furniture is a, a little a little bit overpriced. Uh, it, it probably wouldn't hurt if furniture is you know, too below the price since luxury furniture is worth so much. But if you build too much of that and trade for it, then you're going to have some problems. So we're just going to build five levels of this and then go ahead and start up an import route here. And unfortunately, none of these are, are worth very much. Uh, we wouldn't get much from it. All right, well, we'll do the... American market, I suppose. Trade with Americans. And we'll see if that increases in size. I'm, I'm hoping it does. It's saying it's not going to. But yeah, we'll see, you guys. The, I did set up an import route, right? Yeah, we set up an import route. Just make sure I'm not trying to export uh, the, uh, the luxury furniture. Uh, we also need to get the engines. So we'd already built quite a few of these motor industries, but clearly that wasn't enough. So we're going to go and go up to, I don't know, like 35. Uh, yeah, the, the price is, is pretty high here, and that affects a lot of our industries. We'll go and do the coal mines as well. And that's the end of our throughput bonuses at 50. But there's really nowhere else to build them. You can build one here. So I guess we'll go up to level 55 there, and it's fine. We just won't get any more throughput bonuses. With the oil, we don't have any oil rigs that we can construct, so the only option is the well oil currently. I think we just built there, so that's not going to be available. We can build over here, though, as well as here. I mean, could have some issues there, but let's let's do it anyway. And then we need the the glass, so we'll have to get some glass works. And do we want to keep constructing there? Or should we start another location? I think we should start another location. We're gonna start one right here in Chubu. Then we need both types of the clothing, so we'll get the textile mills. We're just going to build that here. And I think that's good for now. Yeah, I should keep them busy. Alright, so we're in the countdown to war. Troops are on the way over to this front here. And uh, once the war starts, we'll, we'll set up a naval invasion as well. I'll go ahead and hit them here with like 20 troops. So despite this being against the British, I, I kind of expect this to be an easier conflict just because of the horrible position they're currently in. It was a very good time for us to declare war on them. So we're going to want to do the invasion uh, with Admiral Togo. Uh, as far as which army we want to send, let me just see here which one's not currently sent to front. So both of these guys are actually traveling over there now. Hmm. So they're still traveling too. Hopefully get there, you know, around the same time, uh, so that uh, they don't they can't just easily conquer this territory from us. Uh, I did make that mistake of not sending them there sooner, which we could have. So I guess we're gonna do the invasion with him, Gentaro. Yeah, so he's the one that's gonna do this. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the naval invasion for right here, and Gentaro. All right, excellent. So he'll do that while the uh, rest of our troops are over here. And we're sending 60, they're sending 50 something. They already have troops over there which are able to, wow, that sucks. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get there in time, guys. Yep, they're able to take us from it, uh, take it from us. So we didn't get there quick enough. That's a shame. We got event disease among the wounded. We'll go with the, it's either negative 20% recovery rate or the 5% mortality. Just for one year, I guess we'll do the 20% recovery rate reduction. So that's a bummer we didn't get there soon enough, and so they're able to just take it from us uh, without even having to fight for it. So we'll have to set up another naval invasion of right here. And, oh, because they got there, I see. Hmm, that's interesting. So we might actually have a chance here. Yeah, it looks like we might have a chance here. We just gotta get the troops uh, heading on over there. We'll send him, and then again we'll send, we'll just send the same ones that we were sending. 
Uh, which I think was these two here. And maybe this time we can get there before him? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Why we got a little patch of territory. But yeah, let's have to see if we can get there before them. I think it's it's taken the same amount of time for us to get there as it does for them. Which is kind of strange because, yeah, we don't have to go as far. Uh, we've already completed this naval invasion over here. So now we're advancing. Uh, 20 units going against nothing at the moment. So even if uh, this doesn't work out... Maybe we want to send the naval invasion now, actually. Yeah, I think we will. Go ahead and send the naval invasion of... Showin? Yeah. So let's go and set that up. A second naval invasion right here. And that'd be him. So we'll just be sending the 40 there. So we're advancing this way. They do actually have some troops attempting to stop us now. Uh, let's just turn this down a notch so we can try and catch a battle. Oh, they're not there yet. They're still sending them. We might actually be able to get the front taken before they even get there. So having some success here. Dig in events about that uh, inefficient agriculture. The same event that you get all the time. They really need new events in the game. That's a typical Paradox game though. At launch. Uh, and our commerce are, are actually being sunk right now. Uh, so we didn't do anything with our fleet. I'm not really taking the British seriously here. And plus we're using our main fleet for the, uh, you know, deal with the invasions here. So we could just promote him. Or we can get another admiral. Because so I don't think we're using all of our current ships yet. That's only five. So he must have a trait that's not giving him access to all of them. Is that the Arrogant? No, that actually increases his command limit. That's interesting, he only has access to the 17 ships, probably because of his rank. Yeah, his rank is resulting in him getting more. But where are those other five ships? I'm not entirely sure why we don't have access to those. Well, whatever, that's fine. Let's go and find out where we're being attacked over here. They're actually doing a naval invasion of our islands over here. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Yeah, I don't think we're going to... Could raise up the conscripts here so they could defend their territory. I don't know how much you'd actually get. But you could try doing that. If that's even an option. No. Insufficient civilian population. So can't raise up any conscripts throughout this territory so they could defend it themselves. So you'd have to like send units over there. We can try. You got units on their way over here. So yeah, we could we could send a, a army over there, I suppose. So let's go ahead and do that. We might want to mobilize this last army here. Since we're fighting across all these different, you know, fronts. And then we don't want to wait for him. Because that would take too long. Is there anybody not doing anything right now? I think we already have. Yeah, we're kind of doing something with all of our dudes. I suppose you could have him come over here. You know, just take him time. If he can even get over there in time to defend the front. So I got distracted with that front over there. We need to get this set up to protect our convoys. This is where we're currently being raided. And so that would be the England one. Yeah. Although, shouldn't that be shut off? You can't even trade with England anymore. I'm sure that's actually going somewhere else. Yeah, we'll go ahead and help him uh, or actually defend those, those convoys. We're still building ships right now. Remember, guys, we set it up to build 100, and we only have 65. That's kind of the issue right there. All right, so we have our troops over here. They should be advancing the front. We have an active battle. Uh, we can see that not doing so well here. Also doesn't help that we're exhausted, apparently. They have the good visibility. But we're coming up behind them here. So, yeah, we're like uh, right here. Basically, they're completely cut off. So I think this whole front... Nope, it's not. There's little patches everywhere that we got to deal with. All right, so let's find out where our generals are moving to. Let's see where everybody's at. All right, so I think this guy's the one that we have doing standby so that he'll defend our homeland. We sent 20 more. Just trying to figure out who everybody is. I think it's uh, Shoin who we sent. 
And so he needs to go over here because I think that's where they're currently sending them. We don't want them to, to advance the front there. Though, they're actually sending more than we have going over there. Okay. Maybe let's have him stand by then. And then we'll send the, the 40. Make sure they don't just take back that territory we worked so hard toward, towards getting. All right, so we have another battle about to break out over here. Hopefully this time we're able to actually advance it. We do outnumber them, but they keep on bringing more units than we do. And they have the higher uh, defense than our offense. So we're just not having any success here, even when we get a better a better one. Though that one's obviously just going to help with the, the problems that's captured. We'll take more casualties because of this one, though. It's a little flip-flopping here, but uh, yeah, it does look like we'll end up losing that battle, unfortunately. And this front over here, uh, looks like it was conquered from us. The British Raj took it. We could do all these naval invasions, but really this is the key. This is where the uh, uh, the war goals are. So that's how we are going to win it. So let me just see how things are going. So we're still moving those 40 units over there. Just want to keep our eyes. Yeah, now they're moving over here. The, the movement of the fronts is just a pain in the butt to deal with over here. Yeah, see, now they have, like, two separate fronts. I don't understand how we're going to both of those. Okay. Yeah, this is messed up, guys. Wow. All right, so these guys are already over there. I just hate warfare. This is why I don't like doing the wars in this game, man. It's just such a pain in the ass. So he's currently already over here. Uh, he's the one that was over here. He just moved himself over to here. Um, so now he's already there, so you might as well let him finish what he's doing. You got those 40 coming over here. He's already on his way, so might as well let him. Uh, so then in this case, you have less troops trying to advance, and that's just not going to work out. And so basically, you're going to have to... Hmm. Yeah, I guess there's already a battle, so you can't set him to, to defend it. You have another 25 going over there that I didn't send. Uh, again, it's just... Warfare is just so out of your hands. Such a pain in the butt, man. Yeah, it's just not a it's not a fun warfare mechanic at all. And it's like I can see if we have any generals to do some invasions with. Other than, well, this guy's got to defend. Yeah, we don't have anybody available right now. Okay. But yeah, we just gotta sit here and babysit these damn generals. So yeah, now they're advancing up this way. I'm still waiting for this guy to come here. And is he not set to advancing? He is set to advancing. He's just not. He's stuck in this battle over here. So we gotta get that finished up. Yeah, I also don't like how you don't get notifications about uh, naval invasions. Like we had a naval invasion over here and we didn't get a notification about it. So like you just don't know what's going on. Warfare system needs like some huge improvements, guys. Cause this is just, it's just absolutely garbage. Again, it's not a problem with the, it being hands-off. I'm actually okay with the not directly controlling the troops. Okay, so what we need to do is set these guys to defend over here. But yeah, he keeps getting stuck in these battles that we're losing horribly. So we need to, to stay on this front. We're still winning the war right now. So that's what's important. I would get that. So we'll need to actually build the rubber before we... uh. Are we able to make use of it? Let's stay on this until it's over so that I can... And then we'll pick the tech and all that. Because good god, we're never going to get them set to defend here. Because yeah, we can't advance against that many. Yeah, it's uh, currently just too many over there at the moment. So we're going to set them both up to defend there until we finish up with these areas where now we have both huge armies over here on the same front advancing the same front. Yeah, it's just ridiculous, guys. Uh, so now we need to... I suppose we'll have him go back over to here now. Just such a pain in the butt managing this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully they make some huge changes with the warfare system. Is there any uh, war techs we might want to, to get? I mean, we're not going to get any of these before the war is over, most likely. Looked over here, there wasn't really anything exciting over here. We can get the steel frame buildings, though. Why not? Yeah, we're going to grab that up. Uh, we're already uh, getting some tech spread for it, so we should be able to research it 
pretty fast. Let's go and get the, the rubber, and we're probably gonna have to slow the speed down a bit because yeah, with the troops bouncing around, it just requires too much micromanagement. Again, I said this in the US series, but for those of you that, that didn't watch it, that didn't watch that series, my issue is that the they said that the whole purpose of why they created the system is so you wouldn't have to micromanage. Man, we do not have any options here, do we? Yeah, I'll have to wait to get there. We'll just better get the one rubber plantation. That's practically useless, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna have to wait until we finish this warp before we do any rubber, guys. Because we get this and we're not actually using it, then yeah, it's, it's pointless. So yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to uh, get the rubber for now. We'll just have to wait, guys. But yeah, the, the whole purpose of having it this way is so that you can focus on the economy while at war and, and not have to be focusing on micromanaging your troops, but you still do have to micromanage your troops. You still gotta micromanage them because of the, the way they bounce around so much. And so once we get these 40 over here, that 40 will send 20 or 25 or whatever over to one of these other fronts. Um, over here, they, they bounce their troops around too, so now we're outnumbered there. Unfortunately. We could always raise up some conscripts if we have to. We're still winning. It does look like we should be able to win the conflict overall. Let's see what happens on that battle. Uh, we now have 85 over here. We'll probably just keep the full 85 over there since uh, we probably need them. And let's go ahead and do... We don't want to lose too much opinion with the armed forces, but they're very loyal at this moment. Okay, so yeah, we can just go ahead and do that now. Not too worried about their opinion. Want us to enact restricted child labor. See if we can advance over here. So here's the battle. Looks like we will win this one. All right, excellent. So we're gonna push forward there. How about over here? How are we doing? We are losing over here, unfortunately. We have the higher offense over the defense, uh, but they're bringing a lot more troops to the fight because they have far more troops over here. So we might wanna go ahead, after this battle is over, go ahead and set them up to defend just until we finish up this front here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Might wanna take a look, make sure we're not getting, uh, we don't have any other naval invasions happening out there since we don't get notifications about it, so we never know what's going on. All right, so it looks like uh, this battle's taking a while. We do have an all slower speed as well. So once that finishes up, we'll set these guys to defend instead. We need them to face a lot of casualties. That's a good way to, to win the conflict and get them to give us what, what we want is for them to just take large amounts of casualties in the conflict. Because that'll give them a war exhaustion. So yeah, we will lose this one, unfortunately. But look at the casualties. They're not that, uh, well, I was gonna say, I guess we, we got a little bit more, but really not that bad, considering the fact that we're the ones attacking. That's not bad at all. And they're the defenders. So did we finish up this front over here now? Yeah, we finish up this front finally. Good God, took forever. Uh, so now we have 85 over here, and so we'll just have them advance the front. Though these guys are not advancing, not that they can't be, you know, they can be used for that. Because it's just one general, and then he'll uh, use their troops. So it doesn't really matter, but yeah, we'll set them all to advance there. And I'm trying to do this one here, but I keep on uh, stepping off. We need to make sure we set these guys to defense after this battle's over. Because we can win with the higher offense than their defense. Uh, the problem is, of course, that we don't have enough troops. So they're just having more battalions over here than we do. I feel like this might just be too slow. Yeah, it's just too damn slow on speed three. And we need to declare our neutrality on this one. So we don't get any further notifications about that. All right, so the battle's finally over. Um, so, well, there's another one that took off immediately after. All right, are they advancing the front? They're advancing the front as well. Uh, so now this is uh, us defending, I see. All right, so let them uh, fail in this. They should fail, yeah, because we have the, the higher defense. They obviously have more troops, but that's a much bigger difference there. So should do well there. And then on this one, we are having success here as well. 
Uh, peace deal has been proposed. I never actually set this up, but yeah, they basically just gave us the, the deal we want. Because yeah, this is giving us everything without actually demanding the, the treaty port here. So yeah, we're going to go and accept that and uh, make peace. So we got all the, the territory we wanted. We got the war reparations. It's kind of messy here, going back and forth because of all the troops moving around. Wasn't exactly the cleanest conflict overall, but we won it. That's what's important, guys. And so now uh, all of Papua New Guinea here is ours. Well, I mean, obviously we still have to colonize this territory and they could start another colony here if they so desired uh, or somebody else could as well. But as of right now, we have no other competitors over here. All right, excellent. Um, so, let's go and let this play. Oh, I guess we have to get some stuff building, so we'll just keep it paused for a minute. I want to see how we're doing on the rubber plantations. Alright, so you got a couple. Yeah, we have access to a couple locations here. You got four there. And you got the two here. So that's that's enough to, to make uh, use of the rubber. The problem is, do we have the population? Let me just take a look here. We do. We actually have peasant population over here. So let's go and get the rubber plantations built in here. And yeah, we'll just want to get as many as we can. All right, so we'll work on that. And once we have the rubber, we'll switch over the production methods but yeah very successful war over there also you'll notice we're now the number two power in the world because we were recognized so we now are able to become a great power and we are number two just behind austria hungary and uh, that is largely because of our massive gdp uh, where we're number three on gdp uh, china of course would be uh, very high if they were uh, recognized Looks like our standard of living is decent, not not anywhere near the highest. We're pretty low here. Uh, population pretty high. We have the fifth highest population, more than France or Britain, but less than Russia and Austria-Hungary. Austria-Hungary is doing fantastic in this campaign. Seems that that's kind of the norm now. That's what I've been hearing on the comments, is that uh, Austria-Hungary seems to always do really well. Which, which is interesting because it's I'm always seeing somebody different. Uh, when I was playing before the game released, it was always the British, or, or typically the British, that were doing really well. Then when the game launched, the launch version of the game, it was always the French. And then now we see Austria-Hungary always doing well. It seems it's just which version of the game you're playing is, is who's always doing well. So you know, it's not a well-balanced game, guys. It's going to take them a while, if ever. Paradox games often... We'll always have those those issues. It's another event that you must always get. And we're just going to have to take the interest group approval hit. We don't want to spend all that money. 50000 That's a lot. I mean, we have it. I mean, this is bureaucracy. So we'll just go with this one. Now, one thing we could do is switch over our institution here so that we can colonize you know, twice the speed. And then we can still you know, destroy the, the institution eventually. It also improve the health system too. I think we're gonna do both of those. So we're gonna get both of those started, make use of this uh, bureaucracy that we have, the extra bureaucracy. All right, so things are going well, guys. Now we haven't made much progress here in the years in the episode, that's always the case whenever we uh, have warfare going. Uh, we can declare more interest, so I guess we'll go ahead and do that a lot more because yeah, we're a great power now. So basically we can declare interest around the world didn't mean to, to close that. So yeah, we'll do it over here, and I guess we'll have some interest in North America up along the, the coastline. And it doesn't really matter. This is, at this point, it's just a bunch of notifications you don't actually want. So I'm not sure it's even worth do, doing the interest, but it does let you trade with more countries. I suppose that's one thing to consider as well. Maybe we should, uh, I mean, Europe is in many of these areas, and they have interest in our regions, so I think we're fine. But we could put some in Europe, just to make sure that we're able to trade with all the, the European countries, uh, who often have a, a lot of goods that we might want. Just give us more options as far as trade partners go. We need to get some stuff constructed over here. Let me just see what we're still working on. Okay, so we're getting the, the glass works and the textile mills. So those are still on the list here. 
So we can go ahead and do the dyes. So we want these dye plantations. And that's just all those uh, interests being uh, activated. Uh, so we'll go up to 45 here. Uh, also, we need some steel. So let's go with the steel mills. We can let this play while we... Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Let me just take that off. Because, yeah, we're going to continue building Chubu because they still got... I mean, I guess we've ticked it down some. But, yeah, let's get it all the way up to... To the full 50 before we start building anywhere else. Uh, with that. What else do we need? Uh, oil, of course, is going to be a problem for us. We can see if there's anything else here. There's something for the oil rigs. Yeah, you can do one right there. So we'll do that. And then the welling stations would be our only other option. So we can do here. And then maybe... Yeah, I'm hesitant to do there. I mean, we have people being moved there. It's not something to consider, too. And what we could do is get back some more of our authority and then send more people over here through the, the decrees. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'd want to do the greener grass campaign so that more people will move into this region. Now these ones here, I don't think we have those as, yeah, those aren't states yet. So they're not affecting this. So if you want that uh, to no longer be an issue, then you have to get them to move into these little tiny islands over here. Again, it's, it's a pain in the butt, guys, but uh, yeah, I don't know what else we would do. So we could do a total of like five of these. So we won't be able to get everywhere. But yeah, there's not really, there's not really any other option here, guys. So we'll do these five locations. Just try and get more people to move over there. So we can actually build stuff there. So I do want to take a look and see if there's anything we can do regarding trade. So we're getting some rubber over here, but did we finish the rubber plantations? I think we did. Yeah, so what we want to do then is go ahead and actually make use of that. I suppose the first place to do it would be in our, our barracks, which we need to get the bicycle messengers. So we got the, the bicycle messengers over there, and there's a few other things we could do. We could do elastics to get more luxury clothes, but that's going to require a ton of rubber, so we should probably wait. Yeah, let's wait. Because I imagine that this alone is going to be too much for what we've currently built. Yeah. So we, we'll need to get a lot more rubber production up. We could also look to, to trade it, though there might not be too many countries that have it. Uh, Venezuela does. So we'll trade with them. Start up that route. Because we're, we're not going to have enough rubber, I can tell you that right now. Uh, fertilizer, we're going to go ahead and export that. We don't want to export too much, though. So probably want like a smaller market. Yeah, like here, Peru, Bolivia. That makes sense. Because we want to bring the price up, but not too much. I know that was only 100, which is a huge discrepancy here, guys. But remember, it's going to grow in size uh, even beyond what they, they say it's going to grow because it always does. Uh, the ironclads, eh, kind of hesitant on, on doing that. We'll have to look at the, those buildings and see how they're doing to see if uh, that's going to be necessary or not. The silk, we should be making more use of that. So I think everything else is fine. All right, guys. So actually, that is going to have to be the end of today's episode. Uh, we made some good progress despite not making much here in the years. We are now a recognized nation. Thus, we're a great power. Number two in the world. Let's go and get a, a tech selected. So I think we're done with this one here. So let's go ahead and go back to the production techs. So the thing is, is we have not yet gotten electricity. So we still have to do that. Uh, let's actually go and get the steam turbine so that when we do get these power plants here, we'll be able to do the uh, coal fire plant. And uh, we, we have a few things that we can already add electricity to, but a lot of these is, is going to require electricity. So we need to get that taken care of first. So let's go ahead and do the power plants. 
put them on the back of the list here. It's not a priority. And just got to figure out where we want to build them, I guess. Location with the... Well, we, we probably should build these in the capital. Yeah, let's do that. Suppose we'll get to level 10. If it gets too uh, cheap, then, you know, it'll be fine. We'll be all right. We could just uh, pay for it ourselves. Yeah, we'll just subsidize subsidize that building if it just gets too cheap. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.